Hey folks, JD here. We're back with the F11 and today what I thought we would do is we would go out and see if we can get a bit of distance. So we have done a bit of distance in the first flight test but still I want to see exactly what it's like in a different location in a much much wider open place and then we're also going to try the return to home function as well and see exactly how well that works. So what we're going to do we're going to fly her out directly in front of us towards the clearing and we're going to see exactly what we get. So if I just take her up I'm going to take her up to a nice little height of uh, 13, 13 meters there and then from that point I'm just going to push forward. Now for this particular test I have got the quadcopter oh, actually in slower speed mode. No, I'm going to have to increase that speed mode, speed mode 2. So there we go, I've got her in speed mode 2. I'm going to watch that seagull as well, i got my eyes on you mate. And um, from this point now I'm just going to see exactly how far we get and when we're still relaying FPV, normally it's about 100, 110 meters around here. This is really struggling in that breeze. Really struggling in that breeze. It's on a low speed mode. So we're at 106, now 110 meters. There we go. We're still climbing, we're still doing well. 134, 140, 142, 150. I'm going to turn her around now and bring her back to me. I've still got full FPV, I've still got full line of sight as well, so that's good. She is right there, smack bang in the centre, coming straight back to me now. And she's coming back really well, no problem at all. I think speed mode 2 is a little bit, I should put it on speed mode 3 perhaps. We have got four speed modes to use here, but I did think that, I didn't want the battery to drain, that's the thing. I wanted to do a couple of passes, and there's nothing worse than, you know, thinking you've got enough juice to do something, and then before you know, you uh, you have a bit of an issue. So I'm going to take her back out in a second as well. I'm just going to stop my screen recording for a second so I can just save that off as test one. And then I'm going to start again. What I'm also going to do as well is I'm also going to ensure that um, I get some raw footage so that we can get some some of that as well. Because I've got my, my, I got my, uh, my camera in, uh, sorry, my SD card in there. So I'm just going to click on the video then just to start that off. I'm up at 16.3, uh, I'm guessing that's meters. Uh, again, I'm pretty useless when it comes to this app. I'm going to increase her to speed mode 3. Let's cover as much as we possibly can. Let's increase her. 17.3 now. Uh, and let's see exactly how far she goes. We're doing pretty well, you know. As at this particular time, I'm going to stop her there at 103, 106, 108. All right, and I'm going to hit return to home. So the return to home button should then find that she comes directly back to my location. Sorry about the beeping, folks. There's not much I can do about that. So my location is, well, directly here. And the quad is flying back at a rate of knots. It's also taken itself... Oh, it's kept itself at... at, uh, at no, it's taken itself up higher. 46, 50. Okay, let's stop that for a second because I think my... There we go, let's bring her down a bit. Wow, she's very high there. I think my return to home uh, settings within the app are a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna tweak those a little bit because I don't like the height that she's actually going up to there. She was up at, up at, um, up at 56 meters there and I don't really like that. So I wanna bring her down. I got a full line of sight, I can see her there. We can see exactly where, she's, where she is. This is the same issue that I had with um, uh, one of the JJRC GPS quadcopters that I flew last last year, year before last. And as soon as I hit return to home, uh, Donny, big drone, big big drone flyer seventy seven, is going to know exactly what what I'm going to say because he flew exactly the same one. As soon as you hit return to home, that doesn't have any calibration, just shot off straight up in the air, 100 meters, bang, and then it returned to home. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, flight altitude, return altitude. Um, I've got a 69, I'm going to reduce that quite a lot to 38 because there's no excuse to go any higher than that for return to home. So what I'm going to do, because this test is now a little bit screwed, I'm going to go back to where I was. Oh, distance hasn't really altered, I'm going to go a little bit, a little bit further though, there we go. There we go, and then I'm going to hit return to home. And now I'm hoping, there we go, return to home is now initiated, quadcopter's turned around, she's going to take herself up to that height of 30, 36 metres, 38 metres, and then she's going to come back at me. So she's up at the altitude and now she's initiated forward thrust, she's positive pitched and she's coming back at me. And here she comes, and keep my eye on it because I don't want it to overshoot the mark or go to where I was last flying, even though I have calibrated her for this particular place. Now she's directly above me. What a beautiful view of Bristol. And now 
we're going to she should descend let's look at this altitude meter yeah she's descending she's down from 38 it even says in the bottom left hand corner it says down so there we go we've got that that beeping is annoying but at least it lets you know that something is, ha is happening and here she comes brilliant see how far are we going to be off folks what do you reckon i'm going to say a foot I'm going to be quite nice to this quad because they are good quads. I'm going to say a foot, even though it looks a little bit more like more like three. Yeah. Oh, come on. Down you go. Come on. Indecisive. There we go. Perfect. Does she automatically turn off and turn to home when she stops? No. Nope. I've got to turn it off. Okay, that's fine. But there we go. Return to home successful, we were at 110 metres, return to home took us straight up to my calibrated 38 metres and then she came directly across to me and then she landed and this is where she took off and this is where she landed. So very inaccurate but still one, two, three and a bit. So three and three quarters foot away from the, 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 the takeoff point, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. It's not great either, but it's not terrible. Uh, so there we go. So at least that's, that's something that we've got there as right well. Right then, there we go. So that's been quite a successful little trip. Bit of distance, hit return to home. She came back, obviously once I recalibrated that, uh, that um, her landing, uh, her, uh, her, sorry, her return to home path, because she just shot straight up in the air. That's my fault for just moving the, uh, the little guides there a little bit too, uh, a bit, a bit too crazily. And then she came back and she landed three and a half meters away, three and three quarters meters away from the landing point. Not too bad. Three and three quarter foot, sorry, away from the landing pad. Not too bad. Uh, she navigated herself really well. Speed modes keeping up really well. Uh, she struggled a little bit until I put her into speed mode three. We have got a 10 mile an hour breeze here, but still I'm, you know, pretty happy with the, the, the responsiveness of these motors because you can just kick her up into another speed mode and then bang she's solid you can just fly her around without there being any issues at all right then my friends we're going to call that a day thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying